Very good morning, children. Today we shall start the new lesson that is shapes and angles. Let us know the key concepts we are going to learn in this chapter. We are going to learn open and closed two dimensional shapes. We shall know what are concave and convex shapes. We will be knowing types of angles. Then we will use protractor to measure angles. And finally, you will be able to draw angles with a protractor. Before we start the lesson, let us know some vocabulary terms. What is a ray? A ray starts from a point and goes endlessly in one direction. So here you can see a ray is given, this is its starting point and an arrow is shown which shows that this ray moves endlessly in this particular direction. Opposite rays, two rays are called opposite rays if they are traveling in exactly opposite direction. Now let us know what is an angle. An angle is the measure between two rays or we say that it is degree measure between two rays. Now you can see here one ray, another ray here. Both are coincidental rays means they start from the same point. At this particular point they make an angle. So this is the measure of the measure between the two rays which is called as angle. Now this point, coincident point is called vertex from where the two rays initiate from. Okay, In an angle from a point, two rays are initiating. This initial uh, point is called as vertex, V-E-R-T-E-X. The plural of vertex is vertices. If there are many uh, vertex, then we say vertices, V-E-R-T-I-C-E-S, vertices. Now let us know what is a straight angle. A straight angle is formed if two opposite rays are coincident. If two opposite rays start from same point, the angle measure between these two rays here as you can see is a straight angle. Now see children, I have given two sets of shapes. One set where there is a starting point and there is an ending point in each figure. See the second one here is its starting point and if we move across this becomes its ending point. Here again starting point, ending point. You can see a starting point and an ending point. Here in these shapes, if I start from this particular point and trace the figure, it comes back at the same point. It means the starting point and ending point of this figure is same. Here also, in this figure, if this is the starting point and you move along this shape, the ending point also coincides the starting point. So in all these shapes, the starting point and ending point is same, whereas here starting point and ending point are different. So the shapes that have different starting and ending point, they are called as open shapes. And the shapes which have same starting point and same ending point, it means starting point and ending point being same, the shapes will be called as closed shapes. One more thing to understand, see when I say open shape, there is a door for you to enter in this picture. Can you see? You can enter in this shape because there is an opening here. Even here there is an opening so you can enter. See, you can enter here. Even you can enter here. So these are called open shapes. Whereas if you want to enter these, all sides are such that they block the entry of any point inside it. So they are called as closed shapes. Now 
Let us understand what are concave and convex shapes. I have again given two sets of shapes here. In these shapes, you can see, just look at all the angles of these shapes. This angle, as we have already seen here, this is a straight angle where the two opposite rays are coinciding. So, the angle between them is called straight angle. Okay, it may a straight angle in a straight angle actually it makes a straight line through that point. Now, if you look at this angle, is it more than a straight angle or less than straight angle? See, suppose this is a ray. If I draw opposite ray, then this entire angle would have been a straight angle. So, it is less than that. So, this angle is less than a straight angle. Look at this angle, it is it too is less than straight angle. Here again it is less than straight angle. Here again it is less than straight angle. Look at this figure. Again the same thing. This is less than straight angle. 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 In all these pictures or figures what we find the angles formed are less than the angles formed by opposite rays that is less than a straight angle. Such figures we call them as convex shapes. Now look at these shapes given here in this set. This is less than straight angle. This is again less than straight angle. But when we look at this angle, see if there would have been line like this, this would have been a straight angle. But it is more than straight angle. So one angle here is more than straight angle. All the remaining angles here are less than straight angle or less than angle formed by two opposite rays. Look at these pictures again. Here you can see one, two, three, four angles which are more than straight angle. Here again in this picture there are two angles, one and two, which are more than straight angle. Here one, two, three, four and five angles are there which are more than straight angle. Likewise, you can see in these pictures at least one or more than one angles are more than straight angle or they are more than the angles formed by the opposite rays. Such pictures are called as concave shapes. Now, one more thing to identify these convex and concave shapes are in concave shapes, you can find a curvature bent inside. See, there is a curve inside as if a cave is formed. Can you see? Here, one cave is there. Here, you can see one cave, another cave. Hindi mein hum kehte pichka hua, ek side se pichka diya gaya ho. Thik hai na? Is tarah ka agar shape hai. Then, we call it as concave shape. Whereas, here, these shapes when you see, they are all bulged. Okay, so these bulk shapes will be called as convex shapes. Now, let us know more about the convex shapes or the plane figures with finite number of straight lines, which we also call them as polygons or convex polygons. Now, these are some shapes I have drawn. Let us count. How many sides do these shapes have? Can you name this shape children? Yes, this shape is a triangle. It has one, two and three sides. A triangle is also called a three-sided polygon. Polygon means a plane figure with infinite or oh, sorry with finite number of straight sides. Finite means countable. If you can count the number of sides, it is called finite. So, a plane figure with finite number of straight sides is called as polygon. So, a triangle is a polygon with three sides. Now, coming to next picture, this is having four sides. Uh, it is a four sided polygon. A four sided polygon is called as quadrilateral. Here, quadri means four, lateral means sides. So, 
four sided figures are called as quadrilaterals a square rectangle kite or rhombus all these figures are having four sides so all these figures are quadrilaterals now look at this shape this has five sides a five sided polygon or five sided shape is called as pentagon penta means five gon means sides so five sided figure is called as pentagon now coming to the next one you can count the number of sides here it has six sides a six sided polygon is called as hexagon a seven sided polygon is called as septagon or heptagon both are correct you can see septa -E septa means seven or hepta -E hepta that also means seven septa is having greek origin and hepta is having latin origin so depending on the origin of the word we call either septa or hepta both means seven sided now a eight sided polygon is called as an octagon a eight sided figure or shape is called as octagon a nine sided figure a nine sided polygon is called nonagon n o n a g o n okay a 10 sided polygon is called as decagon and a 12 sided polygon is called dodecagon okay so you should know the names of these shapes children remember all these shapes are made up of straight sides only that's why they are called as polygon and these polygons have definite names once again we shall revisit three sided called triangle it is the smallest polygon a three sided plane figure is called triangle and it is smallest polygon because if you try making a polygon with two sides it is not possible either it will become a uh, like in each, each of the cases it is either become an angle or a straight line it will never become a closed figure so all these shapes are closed figures first thing you should remember they are bound by straight sides this is the second thing you you should remember that's why they are called as polygons a triangle is the smallest polygon because it has minimum number only three sides four sided polygon is called quadrilateral a square rectangle a kite a rhombus all these are quadrilaterals pentagon is a five sided figure hexagon is a six sided polygon septagon or heptagon is a seven sided polygon octagon is a eight sided polygon nonagon is a nine sided polygon decagon is a 10 sided polygon and dodecagon is a 12 sided polygon now let us know some components of plane figures or these polygons these polygons are having three things called vertex sides and angles vertex are the joints where two sides meet see this is called a side a straight edge is called its side or the straight edged boundary are called the sides so this is a figure having eight straight sides so there are eight sides wherever two sides are meeting this point is called as vertex and the measure degree measure of these two uh, sorry this uh, angle is called angle okay the measure of degrees between two sides is called as angle so that's all for today children thank you